Hi, my name is Mesut Karadash, and in this presentation, I'm going to give you brief explanation about the long range identification and tracking system, which is also known as LRIT. The LRIT system is a mandatory requirement under SOLAS Chapter 5, Regulation 19, Stroke 1. This diagram shows the key functions in the LRIT network. The ship reports its identity, position, and the date time of that position. Four times every day she is at sea to a data center via an application service provider. The application service provider is nominated by the flag state and will provide LRIT service to ships flying that flag. The ASP deals with all issues relating to the LRIT communication from the ship, ensuring that the correct reports are received on shore and lodged in the appropriate data center. The flag state will, in most cases, choose to receive the reports about ships flying its own flag. Other states will be entitled to receive information about ships in their various capacities, such as port states, coastal states, or as the search and rescue authority for a particular region. Flag states are expected to choose to receive information about the ships on their register as a matter of course. Some will establish their own data center, some may club together to use a regional or cooperative data center, and some may use the international data center, which is not available yet. Whichever option a flag state chooses, its chosen data center will receive requests for data from other states through their own data centers via the international data exchange. The providing data center will interrogate the data distribution plan to establish the entitlement of the state to receive that information. And consequently, the message will be routed through the international data exchange. So this is briefly how the LRIT system works. I would like to thank International Mobile Satellite Organization Technical Officer Mr. Halil Keskin for providing information on LRIT system.